What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to do cloud text-to-speech using Google's WaveNet API. We're going to be writing a script in Node.js that takes some text and turns it into audio dictation. Anyways, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and clone this directory. This has the code that we need. So if I come to this page here, click the code button, and I grab this URL, and then I go to my terminal, I should just be able to do git clone, and this should set up a directory called WaveNet. It does. Um, I like to use uh, VS Code, so I'm going to open this entire directory in VS Code by doing code dot, and then I'm just going to pull this into its own space here. Okay, so now we can see we have the files. So I'm gonna open up main, which is the primary executable here. Okay, so real quick, let's just step through this script. It's very straightforward. Um, this is a Node.js script. We are pulling in the Google Cloud text-to-speech package, a file writing package, uh, some sort of additional utility, and then a package that can play audio files so that we can immediately begin to play the dictation as it comes in. So the first thing we do is we create the cloud text to speech client. We create an, well, oh, sorry, we have a flag here that you can toggle. And basically this will determine if it should play the files as they are transcribed. Uh, you can set it to false if you don't want it to do that. Um, we're gonna create an async function here. We are going to pull a text file. So this is the manuscript. This is the text that we want to have the WaveNet voice synthesis um, dictate. So I pulled a talk by Charlie Munger, which is Warren Buffett's business partner, and we use that as our sample text. So it pulls that into a variable, and then you have to do a little bit of finessing. Essentially, we break it out into sentences, and, and then we break those sentences into chunks. The reason we do that is because the, the WaveNet model can only take I think it's like 5,000 character uh, limits. So we just wanna make sure that um, it doesn't get truncate, truncated prematurely. So we break it out into 5,000 character chunks. We put those into an array, and then we're just gonna iterate over that in an array and write those MP3 files. And this will create a perfectly continuous series of files, however long the text script is. Um, and if you were to pull this into like iTunes, it would just play it like it was an audiobook. So it ends up working pretty well. Um, this payload here, this is for the client text-to-speech payload. There's some parameters like the uh, gender of the voice, the particular WaveNet model to be used, uh, the English country code, uh, and a few other um, uh, audio file settings. But basically, we iterate over that array. We issue um, the, tr the transcription, and then we write the file to a local directory, and that's right here, you can see it here. And we're just gonna append uh, an incrementing auto index just so that it's um, ordered chronologically. Let's go ahead and run this. So one thing we can do is we can uh, open a terminal right in VS Code. So I'm gonna do LS. So the first thing we wanna do is actually download the dependencies. So we're just gonna do npm install. And the next step is to run the script. So I'm gonna do npm start. Okay, so we did npm start, we tried to run the script and we got an error here. Basically what's going on here is um, the Google Cloud text-to-speech package needs to authenticate and it needs to use credentials that have access to your GCP instance. So let's go ahead and create a service account, which is really just a file that has our key credentials. And then we'll reference our key credentials and then we should be all set. So I'm gonna hop back over into GCP. I'm gonna to go to IAM, which is Identity and Access Management. We are going to hop over to Service Accounts and we'll create a new custom service account. So create service account, let's call it text to speech demo. I'm going to go ahead for the sake of ease here, just do uh, full access. So we're going to do owner. Owner will give them access to everything in our, uh, in, in our Google compute environment. And that just makes it really easy. 
and I'm gonna select done. And now I should have this guy here. Now there's different ways to leverage the service account. We want to download a, um, a key file. So we're gonna do create key. We will do JSON. And we will call it text to speech demo credentials. And actually, I'll just pull it over to my desktop. Okay. So we just downloaded our uh, credentials with the service account that we just created. And now we just have to reference that. So there's different ways to do it. The way I like to do it is on a Mac, there is a bash profile file. Um, and this allows you to create global pathing. So if we do Vim and then we enter this path here, it will pull up a file. And we essentially want to create a path variable called Google Application Credentials. And all the Google, all the Google um, client libraries look for this path variable. And if defined and if valid, we'll leverage it. So all we have to do now is um, uh, provide the path uh, to the uh, file that we just downloaded. I believe I saved it to my um, desktop. So there should be a file. Yeah, it's right here. So you can store it wherever you want. Probably not on your desktop, but um, you can store it wherever you need to. All right, so let's go over to Bash RC. Or sorry, Bash Profile on Linux. I believe it's Bash RC. And let's define this variable. So I'm going to remove that pound symbol, which was commenting it out. And I'm going to replace the current path with the new one. And then we should be good to go. OK. And just note it's an absolute path, meaning it starts with a forward slash. Um, OK. And we are going to, I use Vim to edit these files. You could just as easily edit it in VS Code or Text or Nano or whatever you use. Um, with Vim, you do colon X to both write and quit. Um, so I'm going to write the changes and quit. Now, when you edit the bash profile, it doesn't take effect immediately. You need to restart terminals. So since we're not executing the file from this terminal, I don't need to restart this terminal. But from over here, I actually do need to, to restart uh, VS Code. So I'm going to do uh, quit Visual Studio Code. So I'm just going to dive back into our uh, Git repository here. I'm going to do code dot, which again will open this entire directory in VS Code. I'm going to pull it over to its own window. And um, if, the, if the terminal doesn't automatically pop open for you, do new terminal. Um, and then one thing we might want to do just to check that all is good is, so there should be a global variable by this name. Um, so I should be able to do echo dollar variable name, and it should return that path that we've supplied. So I'm thinking we're going to be good now. And now when we do npm start to execute the script, I think everything's going to work. Um, the Google client library should be able to authenticate at this time. And we should get um, the file, the MP3 files being written. And it's also going to play the, um, the files as they come in. So let's do it. I am very interested in the subject of human misjudgment. And Lord knows I've created a good bit of it. I don't think I've created my full statistical share. And that is how you use the text-to-speech WaveNet API. Thanks for listening.